Hey guys, so I've had some of you all come and send me some DMs and emails about just your frustration, airing your frustration out on the fact that you're not where you want to be yet um, in life and in your career and on this path to PA school uh, and becoming a PA. And I can absolutely empathize with you all because I remember those same feelings. Um, so as I was thinking about this this week, I was able to kind of just make some reflections on where I've come from uh, and realize like some of the things that I feel that we can do as individuals to help us get out of these ruts uh, and change our mindset. So let's get into that video right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So I make healthcare related videos, usually stemming around becoming a PA uh, and like PA school and my life is a PA. So if you don't know what a PA is, go ahead and look around my channel. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. So again, this is really for anyone, right? But uh, more so, uh, I'm gonna talk about like my experiences because <laughs> this is my channel. So I know that um, for me, I I spent some time recently just kind of reflecting on where I was, like where I've been, and kind of where I am right now and where I'm going. Uh, and it was it was pretty eye opening because I remember the feelings that I felt in those moments, and I can really like sympathize and empathize with you all when it comes to understanding the feelings and the emotions that you're feeling when you are not where you want to be in life, right? Um, I had a path, I had a direction, I had a plan set out for my life and I had goals set out for my life on things, what, what I wanted to do and how I wanted to accomplish them. And as I looked back, I realized that, you know, I didn't quite go on that straight path. And you may be in a situation where like you're in that same situation, you are kind of taking these scenic routes, right? You know, you maybe plan to go to school for four years and graduate with a bachelor's of arts in music or something along those lines. But at the end of the day, you know, you've spent five years already and it looks like you may have to spend another half, another semester, um, you know, to obtain your degree for whatever reason that may be. And some of you may not be even in school yet. Uh, you want to be in school, but there are responsibilities that you have that you have to take care of. And it just seems that at every turn, your your life is kind of in a rut or you're in, you're struggling to get where you're going. Uh, you know, the scenic route is taking you off the beaten path and, you know, you're just kind of feeling down. So I wanted to give you guys encouragement, okay? Because I have been there. I felt these feelings and you're not alone. Lots of people have felt this. Um, but one thing that I think you can do to get you out of the mindset of, hey, I'm not where I want to be and this is like the worst thing in the world is look at this as a detour. Now, I know that you all can get the idea of, okay, I have been on this road, I, I'm going to this destination, right? I, I have a destination in mind. I'm driving on this path. And as I'm looking at my navigation system, I'm seeing that traffic is coming, right? Uh, and then all of a sudden you see these detour signs and for whatever reason, today of all days, there is construction and you have to be detoured. Now, as frustrating as that may be because the detour may have potholes, uh, there may be extreme amounts of traffic traffic. Um, it may not be as scenic as your straight and narrow path. Um, it, it's there to help you get to your destination. We have to realize that without the detour, we would never get to our destination. So if I decided to take it upon myself to be like, you know what? All right, forget this. I'm not taking this detour. I'm turning around. I'm not going to do this. Then I wouldn't get to the destination that I was trying to get to. And it's the same, same approach that we have to take in life. If we're sitting here and we have this path that we're trying to get to, trying to be a PA, a physician, a nurse, an NP, a chef, a teacher, or whatever the case may be, and you you decide, you know what, I, I just, I don't wanna 
do this detour. Like, this is too much. Like, you know, all these extra classes that I have to take is way too much. I need to try and boost my GPA. No, I don't want to do that. That is the only way you're not going to get to that destination and that goal is by stopping and quitting. So this is motivation for you guys to keep going. Had I have stopped along the way of my many detours, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be on YouTube talking to you guys about my path to PA school um, and my life now as a PA. And so imagine if you decide to stop your path and, and the detour that you may be on and just turn around and quit. Uh, who knows who you might not be able to help after you've gotten to your destination. So you guys, don't give up. Keep it going. You know, trust the detour. <laughs> but, you know, trust that process. Understand that you would not be able to get to your destination had it not been for this detour and, and be okay with that, okay? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and on the PA and on Instagram at Get That University. I will talk to you guys next time.